We're here at High Sun Avenue at the heart of Causeway Bay. This trendy part of Hong Kong has become a big part of your family's legacy and history. There's a lot of bustle and a lot of noise. What sort of extensive upgrading works are you undertaking right now? Well, we're definitely hearing all the noises. We're spending two and a half billion dollars to reimagine our portfolio. So these wonderful buildings, they will be upgraded, renovated to be the future. Mm. So we have Heisen Avenue, which will be the high brands. And then we will have the lifestyle, which is Caroline Hill and actually Lee Garden 3 over there. Mm. And then near Heisen Place, which is all the way down here, will be our urban youth. We actually just built a skate park there. Really? Yes, indoor skate park on our level four. Do you skate? No, I must <laughs> learn. <laughs> There's a lot of optimism about China opening its borders and the flow of tourism back into Hong Kong. Is Lee Gardens here at Causeway Bay feeling the impact? We are, we are. I think Lee Gardens doesn't get the real volume of traffic, it's never had, but we are feeling the activity. We are seeing the people are back, the, the restaurants, you, you won't be able to book one single seat. It's all good news. When I look at the two billion Hong Kong dollars that you're investing to expand your retail portfolio in the next couple of years, does this mean you're more confident about the retail business compared to your office market? Yes, it shows actually confidence in my tenants as well. You know, I, I didn't choose them. They actually wanted us to expand with them. So where we're sitting, which is Lee Garden 1, is going to be the flagship of the four Louis Vuitton, Dior, Chanel and Hermes. They will have their flagships here because they have decided that Lee Gardens can maintain the traffic, they can maintain the shoppers. So they have decided that for their luxury, and, and, and that's not just the four, you know, we, we are actually re-curating the luxury end mm -hmm. along Heisen Avenue. And I always say, well, Heisen Avenue with all the trees, it's almost like Champs-Élysées. It is so beautiful, very unusual. Now, office, we actually see office and retail as fairly integrated, combined. So if the office floors are slowing down, I actually carve out some and make them semi-retail. So, so you're be flexible in a very, way. Very, because we own all of that. So I'm very lucky that we can be, and we see it as, as an integrated portfolio. How challenging is the office market when you see how Hong Kong, the city, has now been hit by the biggest office glut in its 20-year history? Yes, it's, um, it's challenging and we will see some pressure, but it's the Supreme grade A versus the non-grade mm. A. The supreme grade A, we actually haven't seen too much pressure on both vacancy as well as on the rent. It's the older, less, you know, less high ceilings. Those are the ones which will suffer. So again, we will have to use those more wisely. Um, you know, we, for instance, some of our less grade A buildings, we collaborate with, um, with NGOs. So the Hong Kong Science Technology Park have a floor with us where we actually grow their community. We use us as their community lab. So we actually curate with them a whole series of startups. So we do different things with our mm. portfolio and it makes it more interesting too.